fight is coming. You tell him I'm coming! And hell's coming with me, you hear? I'm coming for you. When he come looking for me, I'm coming looking for you and you. <laughs> and you. Because y'all gonna have to help me fight that big nigga. What no, you talking about? Yeah. Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. <laughs> That's kind of that's kind of gay, but hey. Come again. Yeah, we're going. So, new camera setup, bro. Good for you, yeah, dude. Yeah, your boy. Fucking your got a personal loan from fucking JD Buy Rider, dude. Oh yeah. Yeah. How much? What's the interest rate? I just like made my fucking my life a collateral. Really? Yeah. You could, can put your life on the line, dude. Walk into a fucking insurance. <laughs> walk into a bank. Just walk into like uh, the fucking katana sword. Yeah, one of those like beef markets. <laughs> what is that? You guys have Miller's roast beef near you? Nah. Really? Nah, we got Kelly's roast beef. Really? What yeah. about like Arby's? Yeah, we got Arby's, dude. Yeah, cause Arby's got the meats, dude, right? They got the meats. Arby's right? is like McDonald's though for like meat. Yeah, it's dude. It's, it's like fucking bullshit. Dude, my dad said he had an Arby's like roast beef sandwich one time. He said it was like. The color of it was like so fucked up. He like never, it didn't eat it and like couldn't ever go back. He said it was like, you know, when there's like an oil slick on the ground and it's yeah. like multiple like rainbow colors. He was oh, like, wow. it looked like that. Really? Yeah. He was like, it was like not it's so me. fucking funny to think about. Like your dad in the parking lot, dude, just, just looking like, at that. Probably Damn. like, probably like thirty years old, like on yeah. the police department, coming home like recently divorced from his first wife. Yeah. Probably just needed something, dude. Stopped at an R reason was like, just needed something, dude. I'm all set. Keep him going. <laughs> Just got a fucking a natural, just an ecological disaster of a sandwich, dude. <coughs> just need something to keep going, dude. Dude, we all need something. I've never even like. I'm gonna be, I've had like one roast beef sandwich my whole life. For real? Yeah, if you don't count pussy. Oh, how? How? Dude, there's one comic who has a joke about that. He's like talking about how he lives in his mom's basement. I think he still does. He's like 40. He's hilarious, but he was like, he was like making a, an analogy to uh, like roast beef. It was so funny. I like that's never so thought about like vagina that way. Oh, really? Like a roast beef sandwich. Dude, that's like literally like, I think the number one association I ever made in my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, I guess. Everyone would be like, yo, how's her, how's her beef? Yeah. They would say like, beef how's... curtains, roast beef. Oh, shit. Wow. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. I've never, that's I mean, I guess it depends what, what you're packing. You know what I mean? Dude, this one. <laughs> It's one guy I worked with. There was like this fat chick that worked with us. She was like wicked yeah. gross. Everyone hated her. This one guy was a dick, dude. He was, she was like talking, said something. And then she left the room and he was like, yeah. He's trying to say, dude, the grossest thing I've ever heard about a vagina. He called her vagina a syphilitic hatchet wound. Wow. I was like. Jesus. Yeah, that's, like that's offensive. Colorful, dude. dude. Yeah. Syphilitic. You can't be talking about pussy like that, dude. Nah, nah. Girls don't like that, man. Nah, nah. I call it my beautiful rosebud. Yeah. I say, let me see your rosebud. Yeah, dude. I call it V for vagina, dude. <laughs> That's what I call it. You ever get those at the I gym? I call it B for beef knuckles, dude. <clears throat> dude, you ever, you ever uh, see like your own V at the gym, dude? Like in the mirror? Yeah, like when it gets hot out. Like, dude, today I wore shorts for the first time. I was doing like the leg press, and you just see that little V for vendetta, like that sweat mark yeah, yeah. in the mirror, dude. Yeah, you got that's fucking, you, know. you got moose knuckle hanging out, dude. Yeah, dude, that's like, it's funny because like every machine you go Wait, on. Wait, you get sweat? Yeah. In like in a V shape in the front? Yeah, and then it like imprints on the machine. So when you, when you oh, get up, yeah. you're like leaving your mark. Bro, I'm the king, bro. Ass sweat centrals, dude. Yeah. What you got to do is when people walk that like walk by, you got to be like, "Yo, remember the name." <laughs> yeah. No, look, you gotta remember the Titans. Yeah, well, dude, have you ever seen <laughs> that movie, V Me for Vendetta? Nah, I never. I don't think I ever. Oh, saw dude, it. you would love it. It's about like treason and shit. That's sick. Yeah, I like that. It's shit. Your type of shit, man. Bro, I cried last night watching the final episode of the John Adams documentary. Wow, so you would really like this, then, bro? Dude. I feel like we like might have like John Adams and Thomas Jefferson were like boys. But then they kind of became political opponents and had a falling apart. Yeah. But then at the end of their lives, John Adams like reached out and like wrote him a, like a really heartfelt letter. Yeah. And was like, Dude, we're we're boys. Like we like we with started a, this country together. With a typewriter or like a, a feathered pen. A feathered pen. Holy dude. shit. They didn't have typewriters, dude. They wrote yeah. like mad like heartfelt letters to each other, and then they both died on July fourth, same day. 
They both died on July 4th, 1826. Mm -hmm. John Adams in Massachusetts, Thomas Jefferson in Virginia. And John Adams' last words, because they didn't know the other guy died. Yeah. Thomas, Thomas Jefferson died at like noon. And John Adams' last words were like, Thomas Jefferson survives. Or like lives on. He was like thinking about his boy, dude. Yeah, dude. If that's not like the like what like the theme of this podcast is, yeah. He didn't know that he had already died, but like he was like, dude, like his final thoughts were like, my boy, my boy's got this, dude. Yeah, as in like his spirit is gonna live on. Yeah, that's <coughs> yeah. like a mad dude. I fucking cried. I yeah, really teared up. Deep, on the couch, dude. That could be us when we're like seventy, yeah. except it's just like drawing dude, dicks. Yeah, we both like fart like yeah. in our like our consciousness leave our body like via farts. Yeah. We just like join in the atmosphere. We send our, send each other like dick pics through the mail. So it takes like three to five days. Yeah, yeah. And we like pay for the shipping too. Yeah. <laughs> and then our last words are just like random like fucking <laughs> profanity. Yeah, because we have like Alzheimer's and like yeah. dementia. Just don't even know where we are, dude. <laughs> I just send you a voice message of me screaming. Yeah, we're both like greeters at the Christmas tree shop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking throw our bells at each yeah, other and just rip and bong like on our up. lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even mind that at this point, dude. Like, if I had a job like that, if I could survive. Yeah. I mean, like, who gives a shit? I know. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, nine to five, it's like you're just kind of like wasting your day anyway. Yeah, so you're it's just like, like might as well be in like the Christmas tree yeah, shop. Yeah, might as well be having fun with your boys. Yeah. That's what, like, dude, you, like, from working from home, do you, like, do you wish you had, like, more interaction? Yeah, I miss working for Amazon, dude. Yeah, out and about, dude, doing <clears throat> shit. Yeah, man, because, like, in my head, I thought, like, the people I delivered to, like, we would create, like, a connection. Right. Because I was, like, I was good at my job. Yeah. And I was, like, respectful. Dude. So, like, sometimes, like, dude, if I went to a yeah, house. delivered to, like, a hot chick, like a uh, lady. A like, a mo like a few moms, yeah. Yeah. And they're just home alone. Yeah. I just imagine them being like, oh, you want to come check out this Fuck. plumbing situation? Breaking down the door, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would consensually do it. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> just break down the door and be like, you're going to need fi that fixed. Dude, there would be some nights. Just pull your cock out. Dude, there would be some nights where I would just be so tired. I'd be out late, like on deliveries, and you had to finish like all of your deliveries. Yeah. And like there would be like a snowstorm coming and I would just take all the packages I had left and I would just throw them on the highway and mark them undeliverable. Are you for real? 100%, dude. What? You really did that? 100%, dude. You threw the packages out yeah, the window? During That's peak season. Psych That's psychotic, dude. Dude, and then like, you know, the, the rows of plows on the highway, dude, you're just <laughs> running over like <laughs> someone's baby formula. Yeah, I got an act. Did I tell you about the accident I got in? Yeah. I totaled an Amazon. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't know if you told me that. What happened? <laughs> It was like my last week of work. This is why I quit Amazon, dude. It's like throwing frags out the fucking <laughs> dude. Dude, we should steal an Amazon truck and I, just go fucking I ballistic. fully totaled an Amazon truck, dude. Really? Dude, they gave me a truck and all the tires were tr like, they had no tread on them. They were completely bald. Yeah. Like no tread, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> and there was a snowstorm, dude. And I'm <laughs> on my way back. There's like four inches of snow on the highway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I went to merge over into the middle lane, dude, yeah. and I just spun out and fucking smashed into the guardrail and just kept smashing into the guardrail, dude. Damn. And Damn, dude, you went to an accident on the highway. That's scary. Yeah, and when I stopped, I was facing oncoming traffic, dude. That's terrifying. Yeah. That's and horrible. Dude, I didn't even fucking flinch, bro. I feel like you are the type of guy that like wouldn't think to call 911 in that dude, situation. I'm going to be honest, man. I didn't feel anything, dude. Like, <laughs> emotionally. I was like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> like you like, like didn't fear for your life or you didn't like you ever like, been in an accident I, that was my first accident i've ever been it in. is like serene you know what i mean yeah, if you're in like emergency situation dude yeah. i fucking <laughs> i was driving home I, I was driving home from a gig in the cape in barnstable high school first off horrible the worst fucking gig i've ever done and i was driving home mad depressed from the cape up to boston it took forever it was like the middle of the night I was on the highway. A car was just like in pieces in the middle of the highway, dude. And a fucking tire like was bouncing down the highway. I was doing like fucking 90, dude. And it bounced over the fucking hood of my car. Dude. <laughs> oh, shit. I was like, dude, I was. But again, I, I dude, literally same thing, dude. I was just like zoned out, dude. Yeah. I was like, wow, that, that was crazy. <laughs> I just kept going, dude. This guy's car was like a fucking pile of fucking... <laughs> Dude, when I got in the accident, 
so I should clarify, dude, I wasn't in an Amazon truck. I was in a white van. Yeah, they give it was you like a third party van, so yeah. it looked like a rapist van, dude. Yeah. So I smashed into the guardrail with a straight face. Like I didn't tense <laughs> yeah. up at all. Just kept a straight face. I was like, fuck it, we're going out like a champ, dude. Yeah. Dude, my seatbelt breaks off. <laughs> So I'm like this in the passenger seat holding on to the wheel like this <laughs> with a straight face, dude. Probably turning the fucking wheel in more into the guardrail, <laughs> yeah, dude. dude. And, dude, when I uh, I expect, dude, the airbags didn't go off. Yeah. <clears throat> they just queefed. They just went. <sighs> Damn. Yeah. So, That's dude, bad, honestly, man. when I told people that, they were like, dude, you could have gotten so much money. Yeah, you could have sued for I like could have sued like, the entire company. I almost just said $1,000. Yeah. Dude, um, and then like a week <laughs> later, the company... <laughs> <laughs> like no concept of what a lot of money is. Come back. That like I'm tells like, you how poor I am. I'm like, dude, you could have gotten a whole grand. Yeah. I walk back with like fucking eight slip discs. I'm like, I'm suing you guys for a grand. You, <laughs> you fucks. They like negotiate it down to like yeah, thirty five dollars. Like, yeah, they're like, we'll give you cash. We'll right give now. like we'll give you an Arby's sandwich. Yeah. You're like, all right. Damn, dude. Dude, yeah, I was could. so dumb that they had a manager come speak to all of us, just a bunch of degenerates in a parking lot. And they were like, yeah, we're actually closing down the company. That was like right after this had happened. A- Amazon. The company Amazon? It was like a third party that worked for Amazon. That's oh, all it, it's yeah. all it is. Like, yeah, that's what it used to be. But now they have their own vans, right? I, now they have Amazon vans, but they used to be unmarked. They were like <laughs> fucking undercover cops, dude. Yeah, they're all just like transportation companies that yeah. work for Amazon. Yeah. There is no real like Amazon. Yeah. Every, dude, everything's Amazon. This apartment's Amazon, dude. <laughs> Amazon owns like this whole road. Amazon this owns this podcast. Yeah, dude. dude. Literally. Oh, I wanted to fucking... Amazon we don't, we don't have to do it right YouTube. now, but I wanted to fucking read some messages that we've gotten from people about the podcast. Yeah, we like, should do that at the end, dude. Yeah, we'll do it at the end. So, like, I just want to... all just, like, dyslexic fucking writing. It's just, like, <laughs> fucking fat retards, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that are like, dude, you, I connect with you guys. I'm like, dude, yeah, we're fucking... This is not good. Yeah. If I read my messages, I would fucking legit, like, jump through that window right yeah, there. Yeah, I just wanted to, like, acknowledge a couple people. And, like, yeah. say, like, thank you for, like, Put their know. usernames out and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dox them, dude. You just call them fat retards. <laughs> you know, you're dude, just gonna, whatever. They know what they are, dude. I don't know. Man. They know what the deal is, yeah. dude. Yeah, man. It, being an Amazon driver, I think it would be fucking sick, dude. That seems like a mad chill job. Those dudes just put the headphones in. They got the vest. Yeah, dude, they like throw you nineteen dollars an hour, man. Yeah. So if you're working in the suburbs where I was working, dude, dude, I was working in like Northboro and Southboro, Mass. Yeah. Dude, that's where like all the Patriots players live and shit. Yeah, yeah. The houses are just you're fucking. Living, dude, mass. dude, if you're if you're in like the ghetto as an Amazon <laughs> drive, you're fucked, dude. You're oh, getting yeah. robbed like three times a week, dude. Yeah, people's getting dogs are out too, dude. Gunfights, dude. Yeah, just, dude, people have died from like dog attacks. Too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dude, two people on my fire department got a, like attacked by dogs in like a fucking week. Yeah. One guy like lost his face, but then he somehow got it back perfectly normal. Jesus Christ. It was crazy. He got bit in the face like really bad. Yeah. Yeah, I was happy where I was working, dude. Like people are fucking dicks over there because they're so rich. Yeah. They're like, don't even don't even go in my driveway. Yeah. And it's like, where do you want me to put the package? Yeah. Dude, but speaking of dogs, dude, Bub is retarded, dude. Yeah. I was just cleaning the bathroom. I know you heard me like screaming in there, like for yeah, like. You think he's like actually gonna listen to you, dude? He's dude, like, he the stu- most is stubborn dog the ever. Dumbest, I think I don't know if he's stubborn or dumb. Bro, I was clean. Bro, that that bathroom, like he can't go in. Like the fumes from the amount of bleach I was using is like, there's like a hazmat situation yeah, in you're there. You're like high right now, bro. I, yeah, it's like bad. I'm like can't. My nose is like on fire. Yeah. But, dude, I was like, dude, every second I turned around, he was just like, trying to chew a Clorox bottle. Yeah, like, dude, dude he's this dog's trying to commit suicide. Yeah, dude, they're like the most stubborn dog breed ever. Yeah. Like, you could just tell him, like, fucking, he's going to die. And I'll just be like, all right. Like, <laughs> he's like you in that van. Yeah. He's just fucking ready, dude. Yeah, I don't fuck with bleach, dude. Uh, dude, I'd fucking burn my eyebrows off. Bro, you I'd tried like, to wipe. Remember when you tried to wipe Bob with a bleach wipe? <laughs> yeah, dude. Like Clorox? I was like, <laughs> I was like wiping his eyes with it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there was like a fucking, fucking third week we had. Like you had this dog. Fucking <laughs> Jay is over, and dude, I already like told you like ten different things like that you should do with this dog, dude. And I just sit there, I'm just watching you like. Bob has shit in his eye or whatever, and like I see you going to get like bleach wipes, and yeah. I'm like, ah, right, we'll get, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I was clearing out J- his tear, Jay's like, his tear marks. But- <laughs> yeah. Jay's like, dude, you can't fucking put bleach in a dog's eyes. Dude, that dog was like, I don't know, man. Yeah, he's going to be tough, dude. 
He has I'm, to. I'm building him up, dude. Yeah. For life. Dude, just pouring like fucking bleach in his kibbles every day. Yeah. Strengthen him, dude. Strengthen the mind. Dude, there was a fucking like 80 pound pit bull with this like dude who looked like fucking Squanto, bro. When you were working? No, like the other morning. Squanto? Yeah, he Indian? looked like fucking Squanto, dude. Yeah. I swear to God. And he just had like an 80 pound pit bull and he was walking by. Yeah. And I was throwing out Bub's like bags of shit. Yeah. And Bub like walked over and this dude was like, get the fuck back. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? And I like walked over and he was like, you got to leash this thing, man. Like, and I was like, oh, my bad. And I just picked him up and like, he like started laughing. He was like, Jesus, man. Like, <laughs> I was like, all right, dude, I didn't know like a fucking 80 pound fucking tiger was going to walk down the road. It's yeah. Like, Why do you have that thing, man? Yeah. Like, what are you getting ready for? I know, dude, chill out. I think I had like the necklace with like the fucking piercings on it and shit, dude. Oh, Like geez. one of those girls that like does like anal. Yeah, only. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like a choke yeah, collar. A spiked, yeah, like get yeah, Spencer's yeah. gifts. <clears throat> yeah. She's in the back getting plowed out, dude, but you're trying to buy like fucking an, an, a yeah. graphic dude, t-shirt. Those guys are the worst, man. They walk around like there's yeah. going to be like a fucking like a purge. With like a black wife beater. Yeah. Um, fuck. What was I going to say? Oh, dude, Bub's like getting, it's like mad funny. He's like getting bigger. So he's like getting more confident. He like like he keeps trying to like jump up on shit, but he has like no ups. Yeah. So he just fucking sprints into the side of the couch, dude. Yeah. It's mad funny. Well, he's dude. feeling dangerous, dude. Yeah. He like came, like he came in earlier from a walk or whatever wherever you were outside. And he just fucking hauled <laughs> ass towards me on the couch and just smoked off the side of it, dude. Yeah. I was like, this is my fucking boy, dude. This dude's retarded. That's what we've been training for, man. Yeah. Just trying to fucking run into shit. Yeah, I kind of I don't know. See what happens, dude. I guess I feel bad that I like got him. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just feel like sometimes I feel like someone else. He'd be better with someone else, but then I realize everyone else works like in an office. Yeah, you know I mean, I mean, a lot of people work from home now. Yeah. Got dogs. I don't think it's that bad. I think he's fine. He's yeah. he just he just needs like to like socialize. I feel like. <sighs> yeah, he's but those dogs like, like aren't even social, <clears throat> dude. Like if you brought him to a park, like I think he would be like, just dude, confused. he would literally just be fucking everything bro he's literally like he's like when like a like an old person with dementia like gets out of their house and like the yeah. family can't find him like that's what he would be like at the park yeah. he would just be like almost like an old lady who like goes out to like a friendlies and yeah like she she realizes she should have just stayed home yeah and like can't really read the menu and shit she's, she's so used to being in like the living room just like watching like fucking law and order svu yeah and then she goes out in public and she's like what the fuck am I <laughs> yeah doing? yeah you know what I mean? Yeah, dude. It's fucking bad. Yeah. Yeah, dude. But, um, yeah, dude. Fucking. I also think, dude, this is like, we'll, we'll like keep like, like semi private, like no names or anything. Like not hint at anything. But, dude, I think like you might be in love, dude, with, with someone. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think you have like, there's like a, someone's like entered your life. And I feel like it's like. Yeah. I forget what movie uh it reminds me of, but it's like Steve Carell. It's just like. Remind you of like fucking World War Z. No, there's like a movie with like two autistic people. It's like Steve Carell and another girl, and they're talking to each other. Oh yeah, it's not the forty year old version. No, 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 no. They're both like so they're retarded. They're both like monotone and like retarded. And yeah, like they don't know how to socialize. Yeah, and they're just saying random shit to each other. Yeah, that's kind of. But, like, but it's like beautiful. Yeah, it's what it feels like, man. It's sick. Yeah, you feel like you like you have like hope and shit now. Yeah, dude, we'll just have like awkward interactions. Like, every time I say something to her, I'm like, what? What are you doing, man? Yeah. And then she, like, likes it. She's like, oh. Damn, that's sick. Dude, it's that's, sick, dude, yeah. That's sick. Yeah, it's what you there's want, like a, man. There's, like, a different gleam in your eye, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I saw her the other night. I was like, yo, yo. <laughs> and then I was like, dude, what are you doing? She was just, like, confused. She, but then she was like, let me introduce you to some people. And I was like, all right. Fuck yeah. And they were like, oh, you're fucking Tony, right? And I was like, nah. Nah, dude. Yeah. It's probably your other dude, man. But like, Nice. Yeah, I'm like, who's Tony? And she's like, don't worry about it. I'm like, Damn. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, dude. That's fine. Dude, I have a fucking crush on some comic, dude. And we saw... Remember I brought yeah, her last night? We night, just dude. randomly saw her, dude. I was like... Why didn't she say anything, dude, man? my heart was fluttering, dude. She isn't... Dude, she doesn't know I'm even a comic even, I don't think. Oh, she doesn't even know you exist? I don't think so. Dude, she literally was handing out tickets to, like, comedy shows, like, barking. And we walked by and she was like, you want to go to a comedy show? I was like... Yeah. You, If you saw her comedy, I don't know if you'd have, like, the same feelings, though. If I saw her at comedy, yeah. I have. Oh, really? Yeah. You were into it? No. No, 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 no. I mean, she's fine. Whatever, I guess. I don't know. It's like comfortable, which is good. I don't know. Yeah, that's a, that's a code of conduct, though. We can't like fuck up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, dude. 
I know. But I was talking to someone, and they were like, "Dude, you should have you should have sex with as many open micers as you can," because he's like, "They won't be around. Like it won't." Yeah, yeah. it'll you know be like a I mean? one time thing. Yeah, which is like a good point. Yeah, you that's know? fucking that's savage. I mean, man. I won't be around. Probably, no, I'll be around. So huh? I'll be around. You'll be around. Yeah, I'll be doing that shit for like seven years, dude. <laughs> I'll be like, "You fucked my roommate." <laughs> <laughs> Like, I was there. Like, yeah. literally, I was in the house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll live on. Dude, I can't wait, dude, to, like, this, like, this love of yours, like, starts to, like, slowly take place over the next, like, four years, probably, mm-hmm. until it just, like, peters out and nothing happens. Yeah, yeah. You it's think- going to be, like, a long marathon of, like, nothingness. Right, right. It's going to end in, like, the most random until, shit. Unless I, like, <clears throat> unless I, like, force you to, like, make a move. I, like, pressure you enough. I yeah, feel like that, that would make me super uncomfortable, dude. And I wouldn't do it like in person to you. Yeah, be like, oh, go talk to that girl. Go talk to her, dude. Like, yeah, it's just gonna be like one year of just like nothingness. Yeah, <clears throat> and then you're just gonna like walk in on me like jerking off in the shower. Yeah, and like somehow that's like connected to her, dude. I'm like, I'm just like on both of my knees, <laughs> <laughs> like my arms fucking cramping up, dude. That's what happens when I jerk off in the shower. You're dude. doing a back break. I don't, I dude. That's I can't do that, <laughs> dude. You gotta fucking. You gotta try, man. Nah, nah. Do it for the boys, man. Maybe I'll give it a go. Dude, com- dude comment you know, below if I should try it. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know how funny that is, dude, to like jerk off in the shower? Nah, I you, just, you know how unprofessional that is? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, nah, you're just like gluttonous at that point. Like, you're having too many nice things at once. Yeah, dude, dude if you do that, dude, you, if you, you sit down up. in the shower, crisscross applesauce, Indian style, and just start. <clears throat> no, no, I'm dude. talking about standing up, dude, and yeah. uh, like aggressively pushing it to the limit like, yeah, with yeah. your thoughts and your arm. Yeah. And then you're just, dude, you're so exhausted at the end, you just fall on both knees. <laughs> <laughs> and you scream to the heavens, like the end of Platoon. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that movie where he's like this yeah. on the cover? That's what it, dude. That's, that's what it how like. I come, dude. I got. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Mad high pitch. Yeah. (laughs) That'd be so funny. Yeah. Next time you're in doggy with a girl. I just thought about that and I was fucking so sad that I just thought about that, dude. (laughs) (laughs) I was like telling myself not to think about it. And I thought, yeah, you have to, dude. You have to think about, you have to push your mind to these places. It's like jerking off in college, dude. Like you can't really jerk off in the dorm room. So you got to, you got to do in the shower or like in the bat. Like, dude, if you, dude, one time I took a shit. And then I jerked off. Yeah. I've never been like so disappointed in myself. Yeah. Yeah. That's just like another level of like giving up. Yeah, man. We've all been there, dude. Dude, I used to jerk off at Johnson and Wales. And, uh, you, ne- you never went to school there. You just, <laughs> <laughs> you just like drive like 45 yeah. minutes. I, just, I really liked their bathrooms, dude. <laughs> so I was like, like the campus environment. Dude, I remember like, dude, I would jerk off sometimes and like mid jerk off, like a dude would walk in. And he would go in the stall next to me and just take a massive shit. Damn. Like, dude, think about that. Yeah, that's like... It's wild. Dude, there was this gay kid in my high school. And I remember one morning I came in and, like, I was, like, putting my stuff in the locker room before school. Yeah. I went in to use the bathroom. Dude, he was in the stall next to me. Just fucking ripping one out, dude. Yeah. Just <clears throat> not even trying to be, like, quiet about it either. Yeah. They couldn't help himself. You could tell. He was, wow. like, when, you, like, someone turns into a werewolf at midnight, he was like... <sighs> Oh, he just lets loose? Yeah, yeah, dude. Whoa, the dude. gay the gay just had to come out of him yeah, somehow, yeah. dude. I feel like gay dudes take massive shits, too. For sure. Yeah. Think about it, dude. It's already fucking <laughs> primed up and ready to go back there, dude. They've been gaped out, dude. They probably yeah. rip shits, dude. Yeah, dropping dimes, dude. Yeah, it's probably mad healthy, though. I don't know, man. Like, I used to be the type of dude who, if someone came in the stall next to me while I was taking a shit, I would wait for them to leave. Yeah. Because I just felt too uncomfortable. Yeah. Nowadays, though, dude, I just fucking... Dude, it's sick when you're taking a shit in, like, <laughs> in, then some, like, in, like, a public restroom and someone else comes down and take a shit, dude. There's, like, yeah. an unspoken bond. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I always wait in mouth, though. I'm always the long... I'm always the longest in there. Yeah, dude, you have to... Especially if you work in, like, a corporate setting. Yeah. <clears throat> dude, if, like, your boss comes into the stall next to you, Jesus. he can see your fucking sketches. Yeah, true, true. You have to, like, really, like, you have to wait. Dude, I always, dude, tough. I always freak out at, at comedy shows because, like, always, dude, I always have to shit before shows. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, a natural thing. It's, like, all you, all this shit <clears throat> needs to get out of your body, like, immediately. And then, so, like, I'm always mad nervous that someone's going to see my shoes. And then they'll see me on stage and they'll see my shoot and they'll be like, yo, the comedian just took a shit. Yeah, yeah, they'll know. Yeah. I do that all the time, dude. You, you, t- 
take a shit or you think about that? I take like three shits before a set. Yeah. <clears throat> and people know for sure. You think? Especially when I leave the bathroom, dude. Yeah. Every comedy club's bathroom is like two by two, dude. Yeah. So, and they don't really have spray. Yeah. <clears throat> like, dude, I've crop dusted the comedy attic in Worcester. Yeah. And people were checking in. Like, and they were literally to Kevin, they were like, it smells like fucking shit. Yeah. Dude. Well, dude, that bathroom's like fucking inside the room. Yeah. But, dude, I was standing right next to Kevin, and every single guest was like, it smells like fucking shit. You blew that and place And Kevin's up. face was just like beat red. He was yeah. like, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And they had no spray, dude. Dude, I was meant, when <clears> I was at. Uh, roar a couple of weeks ago I had to shit wicked bad But there's like It was like a crowd of people there And like the yeah. bathroom's like right there Like if you It's like the most <laughs> obvious thing dude So I literally went into the casino Yeah Like two times dude Dude the funniest place to shit And no one sh- It's so funny to shit there That no one takes a shit there <clears throat> In Rhode Island There used to be a mic At the Wickenden pub It's on like Wickenden Street In yeah, yeah. Providence <clears throat> And they have like the old fashioned Like western style doors mm-hmm. That flap open into a bathroom? Yeah. Damn. So you can literally see who's ever taking a shit, take a From shit. From outside the bathroom? From both. If the door opens, you can see who's ever taking a shit, like, popping off. But yeah. if you're in there, you can literally see the person shitting. Yeah. And, dude, I had to go so bad at the open mic once. Like, I had a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Yeah. And I went back there and just fucking popped off, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and when I got out, there was, like, two hot chicks right next to the bathroom. And they could smell it and probably saw it, dude. Damn. And when I went up on stage, I was like, I just fucking blew up that you bathroom. You said it? Yeah. That's no, sick, dude. No one laughed, dude. That's weird. Dude, you got, yeah, it's good to, like, just own up to it like that. I feel yeah. like you gotta, like, set off the fucking air, air dryers in the bathroom and just, like, blow that shit around. Yeah, there's no, dude, at our age, if you're hesitating, you, there's something wrong, man. Oh, about shitting? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta go for it. It's, like, the best time of the day, too, man. Yeah, it's just, like, a nice, like, <clears throat> little break from reality, you know? Every every time I've ever, like, fallen in love has been taking a shit. Oh, really? <clears throat> like, I'll be texting a chick, and she'll be like, I like you. So this is, like, once every, like, five years or so. Yeah, you have, like, a memorable shit. And I'm just literally shitting my fucking dick off. <laughs> and I, I'm like, I love you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you gotta, I, I, I feel like, dude, if you have, like, a girl, I've never been in a relationship where a girl's, like, openly, like, really, like, shitting in front of me. Like, I gotta yeah. take a I mean, shit. that would be kind of weird. You know what I mean? Or, like, or like open about <clears throat> it, you know? Yeah. At least. Imagine if she was taking a shit and she called you in. Dude, I went on a road trip <laughs> with an ex-girlfriend one time, and she had, like, like, dude, we were, like, really early in the relationship, and she had, like, there were, like, had like stomach problems or something like she ate something bad yeah. so she was like popping off she was like really trying to hide it though because like we were new dude she we were at like a, this campsite and uh she like literally like ran away into the woods to like shit and uh then she just kept being like she was like mad nervous that a bear was gonna come and like because mm-hmm. of the shit she yeah. took so she like waited like six hours and we like couldn't stop thinking about it. so she like went back and like buried the shit like Jeez. found like found Holy it, fuck. which is like nuts. Savage, dude. yeah, yeah, that's nuts. To like go on like a hunt, a scavenger hunt to like find where you yeah. shit. Maybe she just didn't want you to find it. She, <laughs> she <thought> I was <laughs> like go looking through the like yeah. look through the woods. For she it. like finally falls asleep and you just break out of the tent, dude. She's like, I gotta find gotta that, find that, shit, that dude. shit, dude. Dude, that would be your proof that girls poop. I know. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it was all just... Dude, that would be so funny if you took a picture next to this shit and, and you like, put it on Instagram. <laughs> you were like, girls do poop. And like tagged her? Yeah. That'd be fucking so funny. That'd dude. be so fucking funny, yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> if I dug... If I went back like like two years later and like excavated the site where I thought it was, like it was like an archaeological yeah, dig. Yeah. Oh, we're like, shit. dude, we've like located like the shit. Yeah. If you chopped down a tree and made it like a your own personal monument... Like, you carved into it. Yeah. You were like, Becky's shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you, like, dated it and signed it. Yeah. <clears throat> That'd be fucking sick, man. Circa, like, 2018. That'd be nasty, dude. Yeah, you'd be a fucking legend, man. I know. We, got, we might have to do that, dude. We might have to, like, try to capture a girl's shit. Yeah, yeah, like, for proof. Yeah. Just in case, like, history doesn't document it. Right. I don't think history has documented it, man. I don't think so. I think this, like, <clears throat> could be ground. We should make our own, like, net. We should make a documentary. No, we should make our own National Geographic show. Yeah. And we're, like, searching for, like, a woman who poops. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we're, be... like, we're, like, documenting people around the area. We're, like, do you think girls poop? Yeah. And some people are just, like... We, right. like, legit should do this. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, weird. river monsters, but, like, girl shitting. Yeah. 
We're like, like looking for the biggest like one. Like a Bigfoot hunter. Yeah. We're in like the Pacific <clears throat> Northwest, like deep in the woods. We're like, we like, we heard there's a hippie chick out here. Yeah. Who shits. I'm not going to lie, dude. I was walking back home like two nights ago and I saw a woman shitting in the road. Like, <laughs> there's a homeless woman. She took a shit. Like, that makes me sad. Yeah. Dude. It just ruined everything. It makes we're me like really about. sad. <clears throat> dude, it was fucking <clears throat> scarring, man. Where were you? Well, not only that, dude, I, one of the first time I came to New York City for comedy, yeah. I was walking where you parked last night over by Washington Square Park. Yeah. <clears throat> dude, I was walking past the park and this homeless woman pulled her pants down and unleashed a massive shit right in front of this like four person family. <laughs> it was like a <clears throat> like a legit like yeah. a whole family. Yeah. And dude. they were just like. Dude, I have on the vacation. I have a. Did I ever send you a video on my phone? I have of like a of human shit. Dude, it's like a wicked fucked up video I have on my phone. This is like years ago. It's like fucked up. I I I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm gonna say it. Yeah. So no one fucking rat on me. But like there was this, like a guy. It was I was working. He like hit his head on like a fucking park on, on like a marble bench and then shit yeah. himself. So the I, video I have is just like blood everywhere, and then right next to it, just a massive pile, dude. You you witnessed all this? Yeah, when I got there, he had already it had already happened. But like we stood, we like stood him up to oh, like wow. get, help him up, and it just came, rolled out of his oh, pants. Oh, so you were like on a call? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, just rolled out of his pants, dude. <laughs> Holy shit! I was like, all right, man, nice. Yeah. You documented the whole thing. I documented it, dude. It was for like legal purposes. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's pretty fucking graphic. But yeah, dude. we should fucking find, dude. We should go find like Nancy Pelosi shit, dude. Yeah, dude, she probably takes heaters, man. I want. She must have like a like a home. She definitely has a bidet, dude. Yeah, true. She must have a home with like a septic tank. Dude, I used. A, they have a bidet at St. Mark's Comedy Club. Really? Uh, dude, I don't know what type of quality it is, but it didn't work for me at all. You tried it? I took a shit and I turned the the valve up all the way. It was like power washing my <laughs> ass, dude. And then I went to wipe, and there was like still shit there. Really? So I was like, oh. maybe you weren't aimed properly. It was going right into my ass, dude. Dude, you gotta. You I gotta, changed the angle like a few times. Dude, if you walk, dude, if if someone walked in the fucking, imagine walking in the bathroom, they just see you. You're standing up, like spreading your ass cheeks, <laughs> like getting ripped by the bidet. Yeah, that, I don't know, like how bidets work, really, like the quality of them. It's probably like a cheaper one. It's not like a Japanese, maybe. like. Yeah. You know, it's not like they're at like where like fucking Sony or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. They probably have like straight up like power lasers, washers. dude. They yeah. have they just have little Japanese kids that do it for them, dude. <laughs> that sit in the bathroom. <clears throat> yeah, man. Like, dude, I heard from a few of my buddies who used a bidet. They were like, dude, it's the greatest thing in the world. They were just like yeah. one splash, dude. And your whole ass is like clean. I've I've been like afraid <clears throat> to use it. I th- so I think you I'll get like addicted to it, kind of. Yeah, you'll like, like it. Like, once you use yeah. it, like, you like, can't go back. You know well, what I mean? Yeah, it's a good feeling, dude. Yeah. It, like, legit feels good. Yeah. Like, even if, like, I would I would use it if I wasn't wiping my ass. Dude, um, yeah. If I was, like, having a bad day or something. Just sit down and fucking... Th- dude, imagine how much you would fall in love. Dude, you might fall in love with a guy if you were on a bidet. Like, yeah. if you're taking a shit on the, to- on the toilet, you get a text from a girl, you fall in love. But if you're on a bidet, you get a text from your boy, that might be game over. Yeah, if you're, like, an Applebee's and you, like, end up going home with a guy... You're like, I don't want to do anything. I just want you to piss in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't thinking that at all, but like, oh, I, I thought get, you were saying like, no, I, like you're on a toilet and like you fall in love with a girl. That's what you said. But like, if you're oh, on a bidet, yeah. like the like cause of like the stimulation, like you might fall in love with a guy. Yeah, but and it's not like, like penetrating your ass though. It's just like yeah, but it's. I thought you were describing like the fluid touching your ass. No, so no. I just thought about like piss. Dude, it might penetrate your ass if you get like a fucking gas powered one, dude. Yeah. You fuck like a like that a pole star. Ass, What's that? I feel like at that point you should just use like a dildo or something. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you're like, yeah, I have a bidet in my bathroom. You walk in, it's just a fucking Sibian. <laughs> the fuck is a you, Sibian? Dude? You know, you don't know what that is, uh, dude. You got, dildo? dude. Promise me you'll look that up. It's the funniest <laughs> shit, dude. Is Bro, it a it's a legit like, it's a, like a, like a almost, almost like a horse. Thing like, without like the horse, like a saddle. It's a saddle uh, that girls sit on. It has like a little, like a dildo. Oh yeah. But the whole thing like vibrates, dude. They go fucking ballistic. Oh, so it's dude. like one of those things in like those uh, exploited college girls videos. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. It's like fucking. It's like serious. <laughs> it's like an upside down fucking rotor rooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I know didn't know they had the dildo though. I thought it was just like a little like a uh, rough surface, like a farm. <laughs> it's just like fucking <laughs> sandpaper. It's like thirty grit. 
Nah, yeah. dude. It's nah. like a, a fucking carpenter's belt. <laughs> 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 no, dude, they sit on it. It's like a dildo. But I don't think it's like that big of a dildo. You don't, dude. You don't need a big dildo, like, because yeah. the whole thing like fucking vibrates, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, you need to like probably strap it down to the floor, yeah. like reinforce it. The whole toy thing, man, it kind of fucks with me, dude. Because it's like, do you even need guys anymore? Yeah, I think that's like you like got at this point, dude. Girls could just use guys for like emotional connections. And yeah, just like rely on the uh, the good old fucking strap on, dude. I know, I know. But then like we just yeah, that's true. It's just that's like true. it's defeating our purpose in life, dude. Nah, man. I think like you gotta just you gotta embrace it. Yeah. I think I think you gotta like not be afraid. You gotta tell them to get after it, do their thing. You just can sit there and play Xbox. Just put the controller up against them, dude. <laughs> Start taking shots. Yeah, but dude, if I was like in a relationship and I was playing Call of Duty and my, like my girlfriend was like Just riding in the, the fucking, background, riding a Sibian. Yeah, I'd be, dude, that'd be the saddest life ever, dude. Oh, that'd be terrible. Like dude. the Xbox would be cool, but dude, that I'd be like, Come on. dude, VR. I would VR, much rather dude, she be has with like a girl. an Oculus yeah. on and sitting on a Sibian. Yeah, like ten years from now. Yeah, I'm like thirty-five, dude. Yeah. Just fucking. Yeah, it's, I would much rather be with a girl who's genuinely upset that I'm playing Xbox. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. That's the fucking best, dude. She's like, how many more games? And you're like, three. I don't know. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I was thinking about uh, the fucking comedy club owner that got uh, that got um, like in trouble in Boston for watching porn at the bar. You heard about <clears throat> this, right? It was at the studio, right? Yeah, yeah. Isn't he still there? Yeah, he's like still trying to open the club, but I think they failed again. Because of, like, the lawsuit or whatever? No, nah, I don't even know if it's a lawsuit, dude. But, Jeez. like, he was just... Anyway, so he was a, he owns a comedy club. There's a bar, and then there's, like, the stage. He was literally just at the bar watching porn on his laptop twice. He got caught doing that. Jesus. So the restaurant that owned the building was like, okay, this guy, like, can't be... He got, he got kicked out of his own comedy club. They're like, yeah, he can't be here. Yeah. Uh, but I was thinking about how funny it would be if like it happened like ten years from now and like he was wa- he was like watching like VR porn. It'd be so fucking funny. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you're just on stage like trying to do a bit and you're just looking there's a guy with like fucking like a shit over his eyes like this and he's just like fucking <laughs> he's just like dude and you're just talking about like tits and like farting, dude. Yeah. I just thought how like that'd be so fucking funny. Yeah. It'd be sick. Dude, I don't know, man. I heard that is pretty sick though with the, the VR goggles. I've never done it dude. You ever seen VR porn, dude? Uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, but like not Damn. through VR. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's on your phone, but it's like virtual reality. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't even like it. No. Dude, I heard it's crazy because they have like <clears throat> headphones too that you do with it. Yeah. So I heard they like whisper in your ear and shit. <laughs> they like whisper in your left oh, ear. Oh, shit. Wow. Like, ah, fuck my ass. <laughs> I know what you did last summer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> my middle name is Uh. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Uh, that'd be so funny if it, like... Uh, dude, it'd be the funniest shit to get walked in on watching VR porn. Yeah, it's like, how would you know? Dude, ri- dude, if I walked in on you riding a Sibian with the TV on full blast, yeah, headphones in, but bo- like, <laughs> Bose, like, noise-canceling headphones and VR goggles on. That'd be so funny if, like, your dad was coming to visit or something. <laughs> You're Bro, like, he would take out a gun and shoot himself, dude. Yeah. If you guys walked in and I was on like that couch right there with like VR goggles on and headphones fucking spanking, dude. Yeah. That'd be so funny. Dude. Yeah. But dude, if an old person <laughs> caught you doing that, like they don't even know what like 99% of that technology <laughs> is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they don't like all of that's like foreign. Like they don't, yeah. they barely know what VR is. Never mind like a Sibian. They would think I was doing witchery, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Like casting spells and shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah, they would, might think you're possessed. Yeah, they might try to like, beat the devil out. Especially of you. if like Harry Potter was playing or some shit. Yeah, like, this guy's up to something, dude. Yeah, <laughs> fucking cursing this whole apartment, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Damn, dude, that'd be wicked fucking funny. <clears throat> we should go do that somewhere, dude. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if you use the VR, they're, like, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna dude, be fucking blind. we should go to a float tank place. Just get in a float tank and yeah. just start fucking screaming. I mean, dude, you wouldn't be the same. <laughs> Everyone goes to those, like, super stoned on, like, edibles or, like, on shrooms. Yeah, yeah. If you took VR goggles and hopped in that, dude. That's what I'm saying. You'd be, like, one of those people, like, one of those rare cases where you're just not the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, they're like, oh, he did. That's, like, when people are like, oh, he did, like, one, he did, like, one hit of acid and he was just, like, never the same. Yeah. He lost his mind. 
Yeah. But they'd be like, oh, yeah, he went to a float tank place and watched fucking... Fucking VR goggles. Yeah, watched, like, fucking Asa Akira take, like, yeah. six dicks in You just, ass. like, submerge in the water and, like, electrocute your fucking eyeballs, dude. <laughs> you like, electroshock yeah. therapy. You would, you would think it's the VR goggles, yeah, but it's yeah. legit your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Come up like that dude from the fucking mummy who loses his eyes, dude. I, don't, I never saw that. Really? He gets his fucking eyes eaten out, dude. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. So, yeah, you would probably just come out like, dude, you might be permanently stuck in virtual reality. Yeah. Like, you'd take the goggles off, and but, like, your eyes would be broken, so they would still be seeing, like, the porn, I think. Yeah. Like, burn it into your head. Yeah. Damn, those float tank planks. That must be, that, like, kind of sketch. People definitely, for sure, jerk off in those things. Yeah, my buddy's done it. Really? He said it's super relaxing. Jerked off in it or just done it? I mean, knowing him, he probably jerked off in it. Yeah. I almost, dude, I almost jerked off in the sauna at my old gym once. Really? It was like nine at night, dude. No one was in there. And you were like feeling dude, it. It was like a small, it wasn't even a sauna. It was like a steam room, dude. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's a, that's a ha- that's yeah, a health hazard. It wasn't my prep. Like, bro, you, bro, if you started like vigorously jerking off, like dude, we were talking was, about in the it shower. It was vigorous, bro. Bro, your heart rate would be like fucking 180, oh, dude. Oh, dude. Because like, dude. Imagine a fucking steam room the size of, like, not even me to you. Yeah. Like, it was, like, four by four, dude. Hot as hell. So only two people can fit. Yeah. And it was so funny, dude. Because if you didn't know how the steam room works, you'd have one dude on the far end. And yeah. if you got the short end, dude, the fucking steam <laughs> would shoot into your ankles. <laughs> oh, no. And, you, dude, people would go in there and just start screaming at the top of their lungs. Yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, it was bad, dude. Dude, imagine like walking into one of those and seeing me like aggressively jerking. Dude, off, you would dude. pass out with your dick out for sure. Yeah, like still hard, dude. You'd be you'd be on your back on the floor dude, with your erection in the air. There's no dude. way you can jerk and off you, in one of those things. Nah, that should be that should be a challenge. That should be a Guinness World Record. That's a thing. that would be a sick game show. Yeah, it's like who can jerk off before like without passing out. Yeah, and there's like people in the stands too, so you have that going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, no, that would be cheating, dude. You have to use your own thoughts. Yeah, well, I mean, what are you going to do? Jerk off to, like, someone... You see someone in the stands? Yeah, if you see, like, a mom with, like, nah, massive dude. tits. Nah, because, dude, there'd be so much steam in your eyes and shit. <laughs> you'd be like... Pit. If you've been in a legit steam room, dude, when yeah, you walk in, it's you, crazy. Can't, you can't see anything, dude. Dude, I went in with my ex-girlfriend <laughs> on this on that trip, actually, and, dude, but, I, like, lost her in there. It was, like, a wicked nice steam room. It, yeah. it was, like, dude, it was, literally like, the size of this fucking room. Holy shit. And I, like, lost her, dude. I was like, yeah. she's gone, dude. That's it. Fuck man, dude. Yeah, you can't jerk off in a sauna, dude. The sweat would be like pouring down, just like stinging your eyes, dude. If I had sex in a sauna, I'd fucking kill myself, dude. <laughs> that dude, that's the impossible. apex of everything, man. I've seen a lot of those pornos. If you did, if you did like a meditation it's ritual and then went in a sauna with like some fucking foreign chick, yeah, who's dude. like a shaman, dude. I was in, a, I was in our sauna at the gym once. Have you ever like? So, sometimes I wear like a chain or whatever, and. uh you, like, can't wear them in the sauna because it, like, burns. You yeah, know what I mean? You, yeah. yeah, so you have to, like, take it off. Dude, this kid went in there with his fucking chain on. <laughs> he was with his boys. He was with, like, two of his boys. Yeah. And he was like, he's like, ah, fucking chain's burning me, dude. <laughs> and they are like, take it off, dude. It, it gets hot when you're in here. He's like, nah, fuck that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, sitting there. He was just like. <laughs> he pushed through it, dude. Dude, he, he kept pushing, dude. And then he got out, like, three minutes later. He couldn't handle it, dude. Really? It's probably going to leave, like, a fucking wicked fucked up scar on his neck. Yeah, but he was like trying just to tough it out. Burn his chest. He's just like, dude, off. take it off, dude. He yeah. just wouldn't. I mean, dude, I fucking hate taking my chain off. I know it's a pain. Yeah, it takes like an hour and a half. It's gay. I hate even wearing one. I hate that I wear one. But yeah, like, I've been oh. wearing one for like fucking nine years, dude. Yeah, so like, yeah. I never take mine. I honestly wear mine in the sauna, dude. Yeah, but I, I usually re- take mine off. <clears throat> I haven't even gone in there in a while. Yeah, there's too many fucking creepy dudes that I'm not trying to deal with right now. Yeah, there's, like, some pretty normal people, but, like, there's also, like, there's just be one guy that's just trying to talk to you way too much. Yeah, I was going in there for a while, and I would listen to, like, SoundCloud mixes of, like, classical music and shit. Yeah. And I felt like I was, like... That's good. I was at peace. Yeah. Like, no one was in there. Yeah. And then I would, like, if you go at night or something, dude, there's too many dudes, man. Yeah, but now you don't need that, dude. Now you're at peace. Dude, you have hope. You have a new love, dude. I just gave up, man. Like, I don't... You know, yeah. Dude, that's... I, if, if someone comes in there, dude, and, like, your headphones die, it's, like, game over, man. Really? You can just hear their music, and they're, like, sipping from a water yeah, bottle, and yeah. you just hear that, like, s- that slushing sound. That yeah, I usually, I sometimes I go in with, like, no music or anything. If there's no one in there, I'll just be, like, nothing. 
It's kind of nice, dude. Oh, yeah. You're just you just focus thoughts. on your breathing, dude. Yeah. Do box breathing. You ever do that? It's when you breathe into a girl's pussy. Wow. Uh, you're just imagining you eating box? Go. Oh, you just breathe on it, dude. I thought you were just saying, like, you ima- you eat, like, an imaginary box. Nah, just kidding. But, um... <laughs> nah, I just do box breathing, that, dude. You, dude, your membership would get canceled, like, immediately if someone got that on video. You think they would know what I was thinking of? If you were... Is it illegal to... Um, is it illegal to, like, tell a cop, like, I'm imagining having sex right now? If you got pulled over? Like, you got a Dewey? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about, like, walking up to one, but if you oh, got yeah. pulled over, that would be a good excuse. If you were like 10 deep, yeah, you were like, dude, I'm thinking about eating box right now. Yeah. If you got like a sick cop, like, yeah. like a, just a guy that, a cop that like listens to this podcast. He just loves eating box, dude. Yeah. He might, he might like do it with you. Yeah. He might get in the passenger seat and say, drive. <laughs> yeah. Imagine being 10 deep and like totaling a car <laughs> and getting out and the cops come and they're like, yo. You guys are the fucking am I gay dudes? <laughs> <laughs> we just look like we just like fought in a war. Dude, our, our car just like <laughs> flipped like eight times. You, to- have- you total your fucking Audi, dude. We should- get out and we're just bleeding profusely. <laughs> you should have like ten we- deep. We should have like s- fucking two broken yeah. kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> I have like Bud Light spilled all over my polo. Yeah, I'm like yo. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just like, yo, dude. <laughs> dude. Dude, if you were at, if that happened to us. They like, just give us the cop car, dude. We just blare the siren. Dude, if, if we were both 10 deep and you totaled the car. Yeah. At that point, I would just start doing crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't play it cool at that point. Nah, 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 dude. You'd have to start, like, popping off road flares and shit, dude. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I would fucking take my shirt off and just start, like, biting your tires. <laughs> <laughs> the cops roll up. They, like... Literally, though, dude, if that happens... You're just, you're just like, I'm just trying to change the tire. The car is, like, crumpled into pieces. Yeah. I'm, J- I'm jerking off, like, right in, right on the median. Yeah, dude. Like, cars are coming towards me. Standing, dude. It's, like, 7 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Rush hour <laughs> traffic, dude. Dude, that'd be nasty, dude. We gotta think about some freak incidents, dude. Yeah, we gotta, dude like, if like, you know you're gonna go down, yeah, you gotta go down. You gotta hard. go down hard, man. Real, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. That's like those fucking. I saw a video of this kid who got pulled over. I think I don't know if he was drunk or I think he was pretty drunk and on shrooms. Yeah, dude, he drove into a cop car, <laughs> and then he fucking hit a fucking telephone pole. Yeah, and then he just like stopped the car, and the cop came over, and he was still in drive. <laughs> and the cop was like, "What the fuck are you doing, man?" He's like, "Get out of the car!" And he just pressed on the gas. Yeah. And the cop was like, "Dude, put it in park." And he was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Sorry, I had no fucking idea." And it's like, dude, at that point, you might as well just fucking like go out like a champ. Dude. Oh yeah, dude. I think I told you about this on on like the first podcast we ever did together. But when I was leaving the comedy scene one time, I just bombed my fucking dick off. And I was driving home mad depressed and I was on route, I was like about to get on route one or whatever, like 95 and goes on old route one. And, uh, dude, this car comes, I'm at a red light, this fucking SUV blasts through a fucking intersection, smokes a curb, catches air, (laughs) then drives into the side of a fucking like wooden building, dude. (laughs) (laughs) Like bang, dude, fucking smokes it. I fucking Pull over, get in the parking lot. I hop out, dude. Just the fucking Grubhub <laughs> driver. <laughs> Still in drive, dude. Yeah. And all he can be, he's just like, dude, I, he's <laughs> fucked up. I'm like, dude, are you, like, are you hurt? Like, are you injured? He's like, I gotta get, I gotta deliver this Chinese food. Yeah. That's all he kept yeah. saying. He was just like, I gotta deliver, I gotta make this delivery. <clears throat> he's like, I have 11 minutes to make this delivery. It's like, dude, yeah. it ain't happening, brother. The boy's passionate, dude. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Yeah. Mad, mad funny, though, dude. If he just fuck, I walked over to help me. He just fucking took me at gunpoint and fucking hijacked my car. Yeah, dude. Fuck that guy, honestly, man. Yeah. I got, dude, like. <laughs> Why? Fu- f- dude, I almost fucking fought the Grubhub driver or the Uber Eats dude who just dropped off this coffee. I spent like $18 on it. Yeah. And he like, I opened the door and he's like, this guy has legit four teeth. And he's yeah. like, where have you been? And I was like, what? He's like, oh, I've been out here for like 
a few minutes and i was like oh my bad man i was stuck like doing some other shit he was like yeah man but like i gotta like you know i gotta go or like i guess like i get in trouble or i just would have left it here and i just thought about like throwing like a left fucking haymaker at him dude <laughs> yeah. like it's like dude who gives a fuck i spent 18 dollars on a coffee dude like, yeah you just yeah. leave it outside yeah do you you have the you have the option on there to like tell him to leave it outside yeah but it's like dude if i don't come after like the first why don't you do that option though? i never understood that like i always choose the option just like leave it at i just the had door. bad experiences man with them like emptying out the coffee it's just like everywhere and then they're just like they just leave it there yeah it just gives them an excuse to like fuck up your order yeah versus true. them handing it to you and like having having to like take responsibility yeah, dude, even though you like they fuck up so much shit and you just have to be like all right Dude, they're fucking wicked annoying. It's also my fault for paying eighteen dollars for a fucking coffee, dude. Yeah, like, from that it was like it's like a mile away. Yeah, could have like just, just walked easily. Yeah, or like yeah, gone anywhere. But I get it, dude. I get it. Just stop doing that, dude. The Uber Eats thing is just like not even worth it. It's crazy, dude. During the pandemic, I was fucking spending like fucking four hundred dollars a day on like delivering like kava or like sweet green. Jesus, man. Yeah. Yeah, if you get actual food. Yeah. Oh, dude. Literally like forty bucks. You gotta shop the deals though, dude. Yeah, even then though, dude. Dude, my buddy was a pizza delivery boy. He fucking dude. He used to deliver to the strip club all the time. It's pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah, that was like back when we were in like high school. Oh shit. I was like, dude, you see some tits, bro? He's like, nah, man. It's sad. Yeah, that's the best, man. I used to deliver to like yoga studios sometimes. Yeah. For Amazon, and like you never know where to go when you go in there. Yeah. So I'd be like, you just walk into a fucking hot yoga class. Yeah, dude, I would walk in there with my fucking polo on. Yeah. I'd be like, I'm looking for fucking Becky. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, she's actually in a class right now. But like, even dude, even the people who work the front desk are like, super hot. Yeah. You can like see the classes going on. Yeah. <clears throat> like, dude, those fucking classes where they like swing from the ropes dude and, like eat that each shit's, other out. That shit's like, dude, girls get wicked. That shit freaks me out, dude. Oh. Girls, dude. Girls, like, love to do, like, sexual things and then act like it's, like, they're not, it's, like, not sexual. Like, they're yeah. not whores. But, like, I'm, like, what, like, they take, like, pole dancing classes and you're, like, you can, they're, like, it's good exercise. It's, like, yeah, so is fucking going for a jog. Like, yeah. you don't need to do that. Yeah, I mean, dude, they, they're lying <laughs> if they're saying, like, they're not, like, getting a little turned on. Yeah. Or maybe just, like, a wave, like, I mean, dude, if you were a chick, would you just be, like, flicking your bean all day? No, I'd be, I'd be... <laughs> trying to get shit done like a really? guy like a guy you does, think so dude. yeah we aren't you don't even know like what those hormones are like though dude i think it's over exaggerated yeah because when you're younger dude if you're like a dude you're like oh if i had a pussy man i'd, f- I'd play with it all day i'd be flicking bean nonstop. yeah but that's from a guy's perspective yeah i wonder if girls think that way i wonder if like dude if i had a cock i would just start oh spanking yeah nonstop. they would yeah yeah dude, they'd be doing like the helicopter and shit like tugging on it yeah like, just playing with it yeah. like soft like tugging see how far it can stretch because you're just not even used to it dude yeah i'd be putting everything in my vagina if i was a girl really i'd just be seeing like what it, like <laughs> what i could store up there Holy i don't fuck. get why girls carry purses they could just keep stuff in their vagina that wow. seems like a natural purse yeah you know you what think i mean that, like, that's what god's purpose yeah like, probably his intention was for the vagina yeah and then lo- like, store shit in there yeah yeah dude. then coach and louis baton came along and they're like we can yeah. make product out of this you just had like a macy's they're like do you have your gift card with you you're like yeah sorry it's a little yeah, wet this might take a few seconds <laughs> it's a little slimy yeah. like swipe again <laughs> <laughs> like that didn't read <laughs> yeah. you want to try the chip <laughs> yeah dude i don't know I've, girls do all the sources of shit like that it's just like dude guys chill i think out. it's like the same thing as like a cock though dude like you need like uh like an emotional like an emotional connection dude you can't just start like flicking your bean and like expect like the world to fall into place right I, yeah that's what i'm saying yeah it's like jerking off to like fucking cement dude but they don't even jerk off as much as we jerck off dude they don't masturbate like I, dude do. i heard opposite man i heard girls play with themselves like a lot like sometimes multiple times a day man dude we might have to this is another thing that we could do on our show on our we show, have to confirm yeah. this yeah ask around yeah like just collect data <clears throat> yeah no one's really doing this the work you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Everyone has all these theories, but no one's willing to put yeah. in the work. Just get like fake microphones, go out on the road, start asking families. Dude, yeah. How often do you masturbate? Record none of it. Yeah. <laughs> just like think about it to ourselves. Yeah. That would be a sick show, man. Yeah. We would get a lot of views on that. Yeah. Dude. We should do a whole show, but just, just not turn on, the cameras on. Put it on LinkedIn, dude. <laughs> if you're like, check out our new exploration documentary. Fucking Vimeo. Yeah, dude. I don't know. Not a, it doesn't make sense to me, man. Really like... Really annoys me. 
like soul cycle and shit. I feel like that's just like girls getting horny together. I feel like most yeah. like gr- workout <laughs> classes are like girls just getting horny together. Dude, I don't know if that pisses me off, but the dudes who run Soul Cycle, it's like, bro, we know what you're doing, man. Yeah, dude, like, you're just you're fucking... tr- so horny. Yeah. Imagine being, dude, all guys are obviously horny, but imagine being so horny that it dictates like your career choice. Yeah. Like, dude, that's what we have to like rise above. Yeah, you know that's I mean? like training to be a personal trainer. They're like, what's your passion? And right. like, why is this your passion? And you're just like, I love ass. I love fucking huge tits. <laughs> like, I like having sex with tits. You're like, a And then they're like, all right, sick. Like, you're fucking hired, dude. Because I'm the boss, and that's why I got into this, too. Yeah, they're, you're at like a Planet Fitness meeting. Like yeah. Like, the orientation. It's so annoying. You're like, dude. I want to see chicks bend over yeah. and do fucking rose right while i think about like my childhood yeah and, and they're just like all right we're gonna start you off like 100 percent commission yeah you're gonna have to do cold calls all day yeah. and they're just like let's get it yeah it's crazy to me dude <clears throat> a guy that works at one of those places is fucking disgusting dude if you're a guy they're all like sleaze bags too yeah dude if you if you work at a planet fitness dude like yeah what are you doing? Man? It's basically like GNC, but just a gym. Yeah, if you're a personal trainer at Planet Fitness, dude, yeah. I don't care what excuse you have, man. Like, you're not a personal trainer, dude. No. You're a babysitter, bro. Yeah. Also, but, like, the guys that work on, like, the high-end places, too, like, like Equinox and shit, like, you work there. It's, like, as a guy, I just, it bothers me, dude. Yeah, dude, you could, you and I could take a, a personal trainer test yeah. and pass it in, like, yeah. a week. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, like studied that shit. And I know people that did that, but it's yeah, like, there's people who study like biomechanics and shit though, right. and they're like athletic trainers, dude. Yeah. Those people know like yeah, they know crazy shit, bro. exactly. Yeah, like dude, people who train like professional athletes, yeah, the shit yeah. they know is fucking wild. Bro. Yeah, it's sick. But then these people like think that they know as much as those people, and then they also just are, like trying to fuck everything at once. Yeah, dude, they're like getting paid to walk people around and be like, all right. Yeah. This machine we're going to use and then they just like point at the directions They're like this is how we do this shit and then they just watch them and it's like dude yeah. you're a piece of fucking shit. Dude, I asked this question on a fucking real ass podcast, dude. If you if you're white, like would you let your wife like get a personal trainer? I think it's like really like situational dependent. No, nah, dude, I want my wife to fucking train herself, dude. Yeah. I want to train my wife, dude. Yeah. Dude, imagine having a wife you could go to the gym with, man. Yeah, it'd be good and Like bad. once a week, dude? Yeah, that'd Maybe be nice. Just once a week, dude. That'd be once a week. Yeah, yeah you don't want to push it. Yeah. But like, uh, like, because like, dude, at the at the gym, like, there was a fucking group training going on, and there was like a boyfriend and girlfriend getting trained by a trainer. Yeah. And like, I get it. Like, if my girlfriend was like insistent that she was going to get a personal trainer, I'd be like, all right, cool, I'm going to. Like, I'm not letting you fucking just do that. But, like, the way that this girl was, like, looking at the personal trainer, I was like, this is, like, fucked up. It's, like, a bad situation. It makes yeah. me mad. Yeah. It would you know for what I mean? sure make you jealous. Because even if your girlfriend, like, doesn't want to fuck the personal trainer, like, they obviously, if your girlfriend's, like, hot, they obviously, like, want to fuck them. Like, the girl. The girls that they're training. Yeah, dude. I think personal training is, like, good for, like, athletes and stuff if you're training for, like, a specific yeah. sport or, like, a goal. Yeah. But, dude, if you're, like, fucking 30 years old and you're just training because, like, you don't want to, you need someone to tell you yeah to, like, push yourself, it's like, dude. I, mean, I get it. People get out of shape and shit and then they, like, need help getting back into shape. Then you can like, just, like, blame the trainer. You can be like, oh, I'm not getting the results yeah, I want. It's yeah. like, dude, literally, he's just like, yeah maybe do it for, like, two weeks. Dude, and we should start our own personal training and just make people do, like, the most retarded yeah. exercises. Play badminton with, like, fucking blindfolds on. Yeah, and, like, ankle weights and shit. Yeah. yeah. You have to wear, like, floaties and, like, <laughs> do a two-mile run with, like, a fucking cement block, like, strapped to your chest. Yeah. <laughs> just get, like, <laughs> severe lumbar <laughs> problems. Dude, everyone leaves. Everyone leaves. We're like, dude, you need to be mentally tough. Yeah. We have like a fucking ninety nine percent injury rate in the first week. We just have everyone max out the first day. Dude, we like make people squats. like snap their pinky toes. But you don't need that, dude. That's <laughs> extra weight. Dude, yeah. That'd be so funny to like bring everyone to like an open field that's yeah. like uh, <laughs> chemically infested and like have them play tag in it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I know this kid that fucking was his like personal trainer. He would like literally take people to, like a park and do it. 
Yeah, man. I'm kind of a dick when it comes to that <laughs> shit, dude. I know. Me dick. too. Like, but I get, I've gotten better about it. Like, I understand people need that. Yeah, like, you try to be open-minded, but you're like, dude, you're paying like 150 bucks for like shit you could just find online or yeah. inside of yourself. I'm a big like internal dude. It's I like, know, dude, I just know. like, I you're going to be way happy if you just do it yourself, dude. Yeah, like, but some people just aren't going to, which is fine. Yeah. But like, I just get annoyed that these people like don't know what they're doing. Like, they just take advantage of everyone. Yeah, that would be sick, man, to just like work out with a chick like every once in a while. Yeah, you, just you, go hard you love as that. Tits, dude. I like don't have any desire to do really? that. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, that'd be like, I have no dude, desire. that would be like better than sex, man. Yeah. Just to like sweat your tits off together and like. <clears throat> I mean, that would be, we talked about that. Like, I find that, like, that's hot. Like, this girl like, sweat, sweating sweat. at the gym and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but like, dude, I'm like, I have no desire because I just want to like do my own thing. Yeah, you do like unorthodox I shit. Do, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I do like retarded, like. I see you at the gym, dude, like looking in the mirror, doing like fucking wrist rotations. <laughs> nah, dude, I'm, I just fucking like weights, dude, like this like for like three twenty-five hours. pound dumbbells. Yeah, wrist rotations, then leave. <laughs> nah, that's my warm up, dude. Yeah. yeah, dude. Even when I did physical therapy, dude, you had to do like wicked gay shit. Yeah, dude, I had to put a foam roller between my legs and l- like open up my legs and like bridge up and shit and like breathe heavily. And yeah. he would like walk me through the breathing. He'd be yeah. like, and I would just be like, "All right, man, like this." I tried so hard not to laugh, dude. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> he would be like, "Slower, slower," like, yeah, be one with yourself. And I was like, "Dude, I'm gonna fucking rip ass." Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit my pants, yeah. dude. If you don't let me, my take stomach foam was like making up. noises and shit. Yeah, dude, did I tell you he told me to jump once. <laughs> oh yeah yeah he told him you like couldn't so, jump no he told me uh he was like i just kind of want to get a sense of like your athletic ability right now because yeah. like you look like a really like sturdy dude i just yeah. kinda wanna, he's like i want to test out your fast twitch ability so he like he was like all right man you're gonna jump off this box like limp like a limp dick you just like float fall down and then jump as high as you can once you hit the ground yeah like as fast as you can so like i jump off this box and i go to jump dude and it, he I touched the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, dude. You could tell he was trying not to laugh. Yeah. He was like, dude, it literally took you like six seconds <laughs> <laughs> to just leave the ground. Yeah. He yeah. was like, dude, you're relying on like all of your strength. He was like, you have no fast twitch muscle at so all. so funny, dude. <laughs> you're like, so like your hundred- strength, but so slow. <laughs> yeah, it's like, doesn't make any sense, dude. If you were like a fullback, dude, you'd be just like. Yeah. slowly like moving everyone out of yeah. the way yeah that's how it was in every sport it was like slow but yeah. then when i like touched someone they're just like, like f- threw a ball <laughs> yeah. my wind up was like 20 seconds really? and, and then the ball just like flew out of my hand <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking catapult dude yeah 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 <laughs> people were just like dude what the fuck yeah dude i had a slow wind up in fucking baseball too dude it's all right yeah, everything i do is slow man especially mentally dude just like yeah you're just like a slow moving kid I don't even, dude, you can train. You have, like, no sense of urgency. You can train fast twitch shit, too, dude. Yeah. I don't even know that, man. Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, like sp- box jumps and shit. Yeah, just practice every <laughs> day, dude. Dude. <laughs> dude, train for the cops, dude, when they pull us over. Just give them a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Sir, can you step out of the car? You just slowly get out of the car and just, like... You just give them, like, a half a shake, dude. Yeah. But you tell them you have, like, Tourette's or, like, a problem where, like, you just do that. <laughs> You just give him a jab step, dude, every, like, 10 seconds or so. That'd be funny if you're at the gym, dude. You take, like, a foam roller and, like, swing it like a baseball bat at someone's head, like, yeah. when they're on the treadmill, and then run away. Yeah. You're like, yo, I'm practicing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I went to a boxing gym once, and I was, like, mad self-conscious about, like, boxing in front of these people, because it was, like, it was, like, a very serious box. It was in, like, show off. It was in, like, Somerville. <laughs> there was, like, this kid there that was, like, a, like, like, like nationally ranked like really good this kid like speedy rashidi they called him Holy he shit. was like signed to like canel uh not canelo who's the fucking some other guys like his name was speedy rashidi speedy rashidi dude. nasty boxer but he trained there it was just like all old irish dudes and then like a couple like younger black dudes they were all fucking nasty and dude i was just i was just practice i <laughs> stood in front of a heavy bag just practiced just my jab for like <laughs> 40 minutes dude <laughs> dude i'm not jo- i left and i was like dude i think that was the weirdest thing i've ever done like you just did it because i wanted to like yeah because I, I like instead of like hauling off in the bag and shit <laughs> i'd be like oh they're gonna like think i'm like retarded and, like my form's fucked up or like something dude 
I just practiced my je- just my jab. <laughs> it was like nuts, dude. Honestly, dude, that's fine. I walked into like a pro <laughs> boxing gym, yeah. stood in front of a heavy bag, yeah. just jabbed I and mean, walked out. Dude, if it was good form, man, you probably made a statement, dude. <laughs> it's like, dude. You, dude, if you were like, this is the most important punch. Yeah, that's true. People would be like, fucking respect. Nah, me. they were like, definitely. like I. The guy was like, I think he was like. A little nervous. Yeah, nah, he was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> dude, I did a, a free trial MMA thing yeah. back in Rhode Island. It was like a Triforce MMA. They give yeah. you like four free classes or whatever. Yeah. Dude, I've never looked so retarded in my life, bro. Oh, yeah. Like the, even the warm-up, it was just like this MMA fucking like... Uh, like the shrimping and they stuff would like, like that. Dude, we were doing like Muay Thai with this fucking Asian dude and his son was in the UFC. Yeah. And like he fucking would like knock people out with his knees and shit. Yeah. And we were just doing a warm up, dude. And I was doing everything backwards. Yeah. So he was like left, right. I'd be like right, left. <laughs> <laughs> like, like this kid's not gonna make yeah, it, dude. They were doing like crazy shit in the warm ups though, like yeah. spinning back fists and yeah, shit. Yeah. I was like tripping over my fucking ankles. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude. I feel like that's like yeah. you like have, might have like fucked so up. So hard for me not to laugh in those situations. Yeah. Too. Also, like, dude, I feel like you're. Fu- I feel like your like upper body's like probably wicked athletic, but I feel like your footwork, which is like <laughs> wicked important in like a lot of sports, is like probably like w- atrocious. Yeah, dude, yeah. I took a I took a jujitsu class and like I had like kind of done like a little bit of that like before, but I took one like co- like a few years ago and uh dude, so we like whatever we warm up and then like we start rolling with this kid in the class, like match ramp with some kid. And they're like Dude, I, like, got, like, not in mount. I was, like, in his guard, but I, like, got his arms, dude. I was just, like, strong at this kid. I got, I held both his wrists, like, this over his <laughs> fucking chest. <laughs> just pinned him down, but I didn't, dude, I couldn't pass his guard, and I couldn't, like, progress from that position. So we were, for, like, five minutes, I just, like, held him there. <laughs> dude, they were, <laughs> dude. And then, and then they, like, saw that I did that, and they, like... Then, like, the next round, they put me with the best kid in the class. Yeah. Dude, I got fucking... Ch- I got choked out, like, four times in, like, two minutes, dude. <laughs> I just got fucking yeah. guillotined, like, six different times, dude. Just had to tap, dude. Yeah. If we went to a class together, we would fucking start crying. I would, laughing. Psst, dude. <laughs> dude, if me and you had to, like, roll together, they would have to, like, pull us apart, dude. Because we'd be... I'd be fucking, like, whispering weird yeah. shit in your ear. Yeah. Like, we'd be like pretending to finger each other's ass. Yeah, and dude, dude. Just make it. <laughs> <laughs> just do it like, dude. They would be. They would kick us out. Yeah, and like we'd be four like seconds. orgasm sounds. Dude. That actually would be a mad funny video if we went to a fucking. If we secretly filmed it and we just start rolling the jet, we're like, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you start like moaning wicked loud, dude. Just, like, pretending to like bang each other from behind. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they look over and like. You just had me in doggy. Yeah, people would be pissed, dude. That's like their life, like, man. Fuck. Dudes with like tattoos or a fucking baked shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, fuck you. Yeah, dude. Dude. This is a lifestyle, motherfucker. So fucking fun, dude. I was just <laughs> holding with his arm. Like, no one, like, no one's ever thought of doing that, too. Like, name one at UFC fight where some guy's gotten held down like, like this. Yeah. It's like, that's what happens. Like, if you, like, do a sport like that and, like, you, for the first time, you, like, don't think about it in an orthodox way. Yeah. You know what I mean? You think of like weird shit. Yeah. I was just like, well, he can't like do anything if his arms are like across, pinned across his yeah, body. Dude, any sport you don't know what to do. I did wrestling for a summer, dude. Yeah. And they were like, these are the only things you need to do. Yeah. And they were like single leg, double leg. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And then, dude, once I did that, I like didn't know what to do. Right. I was just laying on top of kids and they were like, yeah, just lay on top of them. And it's like, dude, what and the now fuck? What? Yeah. Trying to fuck, dude? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, literally have no idea what to do, man. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Dude, I, I took like I took like Taekwondo when I was little and, and uh and I would always be in sparring like classes with like the adult sparring classes, like a small undersized like thirteen year old. Yeah. I would just get fucking bodied. But my dad was like, dude, ev- my dad was like, Everyone's bigger than you. They have like a bigger reach. Like so if you just get inside them, like in close, like you like take their reach away. So that's like the only mentality I had was like go like charging at people. Yeah. So I would just be like on them, dude. I would just be like pressed against their body. Yeah, dude. I was like, like, yeah. It's like when someone has a knife. You yeah, like run towards them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just get fucking stabbed right away, <laughs> <laughs> dude. You just get stabbed like thirty times. You're like, dude, I'm just trying to get inside, dude. Take the inside, dude. 
All right, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> you want to read? Uh, oh, yeah. Thing? All right, let me pull up the fucking Instagram. Um, my Instagram's at Dave Caggiano. His is John Psyche. Something like that. Um, I think you wanted to read the fucking... Yeah, no, I do. This was from... All right. Not like... I just want to acknowledge for people this is nice. It's good stuff. Y'all are uh, from Cole Walgreen. Walgreen. Y'all are so fucking funny. It's the only small podcast that has me exhaling through my nose. It's a weird thing to say, but thank you. A um, couple other people. Um, someone, Lou F- Louis Falvo, asked if he could be our third seat for an episode. The answer is no, <laughs> but thank you. Just wanted to associate. Or, uh, thank yeah, you dude, for he's that. He's going to stop watching now, dude. Um, someone sent me their song to check out. P- PGF Prolly on Instagram says, Y'all funny as fuck. Please post more. And then said, check out my new song out now in all platforms. Not responding to that, not checking it out, but thank you. Appreciate it. There's some nice messages. There's also some nice uh, fucking ones on Instagram or on uh, YouTube as well. Um, this podcast, this is a negative one. This podcast is a spiritual equivalent to those movie tie-in shovelware games Nintendo would release for Atari, Atari and NES. I don't know what that means. He said this is a hate comment. So, damn, you know, someone mentioned Randy Feltface. Said Randy writes a novel leaked on YouTube. Shit, that's like something that he did. <clears throat> so, just want to acknowledge a few like nice things people have said. You know. Yeah. Did we get any hate mail or no? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, but those most of like it's the, nice. Those are the funniest three, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, this one, I didn't know I was gay until I saw John's beautiful face. That's from Mike Lowe. Oh yeah, Mike. That's nice. Shout out my boy, Mike, dude. Yeah, dude. Um, let's go. VT commented, let's go grind to a million views. It's going to be a long time. (laughs) So that's more depressing than anything. Dex, Dex, uh, Dex said this is his favorite podcast right now. Drew Roberts said, don't know how y'all are big, aren't bigger. You and your brother listen to it. That's gay as hell watching episodes of a podcast together, but we appreciate it. So I just want to acknowledge, like, yeah, you know shout I mean? out the fans, dude. Yeah, you know what I mean, <clears throat> all right, all right. 